the perimeter of a polygon. What is the perimeter? The perimeter is the length of the outline of a shape. The perimeter of this football field corresponds to the measurement of the red line. It's where the girl is walking. The length of the red line is the perimeter of this land. In this video, we only need to focus on the perimeter of the polygon. The perimeter of a polygon is the sum of the lengths of all the sides of the polygon. To find the perimeter of this football field, first you should measure the length of each side of this field. Here are the measurements. Then we add up all the sides, so it is 110 plus 80 plus 110 plus 80, which is equal to 380. But don't forget to put the unit of measurement, which is here the meter. So the perimeter of this field is 380 meters. The perimeter is simply written as P. Perimeter equals 380 meters. This field has a rectangular shape and to find its perimeter, we repeated the number 110 twice and the number 80 twice because in a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. So when we want to find the perimeter of a rectangle, we add the lengths with the widths, then we multiply the result by two. Remember to put the parentheses around the lengths and the widths to calculate them together. If we have a square and we want to find its perimeter, we just add the lengths of all the sides, like here. We have a square and each side measures three centimeters. Its perimeter is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12 and of course don't forget the unit which is here the centimeter so the perimeter of this square is 12 centimeters notice that the square has four equal sides so simply the perimeter of a square is equal to four times the length of its side which is 4 times 3 equals 12 so the perimeter is 12 centimeters please note that before calculating the perimeter it is necessary to convert the measurements of the sides into the same unit of measurement. For example, we want to find the perimeter of this triangle. The length of the first side is 8 cm, the second side is 36 mm, and the third is 54 mm. First, you need to convert the unit of measurements of all the sides to the same unit. Here we want to convert to millimeter. We know that 1 cm equals 10 mm, so 8 cm equals 80 mm. The perimeter of this triangle is equal to the sum of the lengths of its three sides. 80 plus 36 plus 54 equals 170. And of course, don't forget the unit which is millimeter. So the perimeter is 170 mm. Please note that we cannot measure the perimeter of this figure because it is not closed. Also this figure because it is not flat. The perimeter is the length of the outline of a flat closed figure. So we conclude that the perimeter of a polygon is the sum of the length of all its sides and we write it simply as P. The perimeter of a rectangle is equal to the length plus width including parentheses times 2. The perimeter of a square is equal to 4 times side.